Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today I want to talk about more of a philosophical thing. It's something that I don't know if you can technically quantify, you know, in like, I don't know. I do feel like you can, kind of. Uh, there are like statistics and, you know, data and a analytics and blah, 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 blah out there uh, regarding this, but I just feel like it's something that's much more in depth and I just want your opinions on it. I think that it's uh, something that needs to be talked about, especially in the next Halo game, because I think that it's something that they really need to get right off rip, because I think that it's a huge reason why there's not a ton more people playing Halo on PC. And that is the controller versus mouse and keyboard input fight argument, death destruction tournament of the champions. But before we get into the video, if you enjoy Halo content, I'm one of the last like five people on YouTube who make it. I could be your third favorite out of those five. All you have to do is subscribe. I know like 95% of you who watch videos on this channel don't subscribe to it. And it would mean a lot to me. If I hit 15,000 subscribers, I'm going to quit my job. But not really. Anyways, so for those who don't know, I grew up playing PC games. And then I got like a PlayStation 2 and an Xbox 360 and stuff like that and uh, mostly played on console. And then I played Destiny a lot. And once Destiny 2 came out, I upgraded my PC and stuff and started streaming and playing games on there. But I did not switch to mouse and keyboard. I kept playing on a controller because it was what I was comfortable with. And I feel like, you know, you want to enjoy the game that you're playing. I didn't feel like I had enough time to put in to get really good at mouse and keyboard. Eventually, I started playing Destiny 2 on mouse and keyboard. And it was pretty enjoyable, I won't lie. But uh, as that game went on, I got more bored of it, I guess. And the Master Chief Collection came to PC, and I was playing that a ton. But mouse and keyboard, the, the games just felt like they were made for a console, and that's not, like, a bad thing, I guess. Like, it's not really a problem, in my opinion. They weren't putting Halo games uh, on PC back in the day, so I didn't really feel the need to get on mouse and keyboard on Master Chief Collection when I had played with a controller on Halo all my life. It felt comfortable, blah, 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 but I still played other games on mouse and keyboard. Halo was like the only thing I played on a controller. Infinite comes out, same thing. I just thought that uh, mouse and keyboard was not up to par with how good controller is and this is where i think opinions come into play and like i said i definitely want to know your opinions down below especially if you play both inputs but anyways i dabbled with mouse and keyboard but it was just not you know i just felt so much better on a controller and i felt like everybody else was so much better on controller than i was on mouse and keyboard so for the longest time i kept playing on controller and about you know, this time last year, I decided that I I wanted to play mouse and keyboard on Halo Infinite, and I just full sent into it, and I stopped playing on controller, like, completely. And I really haven't played on controller in, like, eight months for, like, anything. Now, there have been some updates to mouse and keyboard. They've done a few, you know, aim assist changes and bullet magnetism, and they accidentally, on purpose, accidentally gave mouse and keyboard more aim assist and stuff. And just recently, in an update, they added the toggle to where you can turn aim assist off on mouse and keyboard personally i don't do that because i'm a noob but in stream on twitch.tv slash hollowtide underscore where you can watch me fail live instead of just on my videos we were warming up in the octagon when i was like you know what let me just let me just use a controller real quick and see what that's like Again, hadn't played on a controller in like eight months. Again, this is against bots and everything, so it's not like you're playing real people. But I was amazed at how, and I, I say this and I feel like I'm going to get yelled at, but how easy it felt to just pick up a controller and shoot people in the head. Mouse and keyboard, I do feel, takes, I don't know, more concentration or something uh, when you're playing than just sitting there holding a controller. And again... I've, I've played with a controller my entire life. Like, this is not me coming from a point of view uh, as, you know, a, a mouse and keyboard elitist or anything like that. But it really just make me think, like, you know, what if the game had launched with the adjustments to mouse and keyboard that we have now? Would more people have kept playing on the PC side of things? I do wish that there was a way to know. Maybe there is on Steam like how many people use a controller on games on PC. I'm sure there is. 
if there if I can find anything, I'm gonna put it on screen right now. But I also feel like a lot of controllers have issues nowadays. Like I, I feel like people's controllers break all the time, stick drift. It does feel like a lot of things accessory wise are made now to have like a life span that is shorter so you end up buying more of those things it's very hard to find really good products but i have a series xbox elite 2 series thing and i also have a victrix pro controller but i mostly play on the elite and uh you know like the stick drift and stuff is turned like all the way down so i cheat and get more aim assist i will say i messed up for like the first like year and a half that infinite was out where i made my dead zones to where there was no stick drift and i was like man why am i my accuracy is so low i don't feel like all this aim assist stuff i was seeing the videos on Twitter and everything of people not touching their controller and the aim assist was working and it's all because of stick drift. Another reason I've been thinking about this a lot is that there is a pro Halo player named Woodham. He is fantastic at the game. Um, absolutely an outlier I feel like I watch him play and he is just so accurate and then I look at like my accuracy and stuff and see how low it is and like I really have to think about landing that last headshot on mouse and keyboard and i just feel like more times than not you know i end up losing a fight because i can't hit that last shot whether that's on mouse and keyboard or controller i mean it's a big deal on either input if you're gonna miss that shot you're probably gonna end up losing the gunfight but i really do feel like that's where um mouse and keyboard really falls apart is that last shot and i've also heard and i don't know if this is true or not so please let me know in the comments down below if you've also heard this but once you break the shields of somebody in Halo that the aim assist gets turned down, I don't know if that's true. That could just be head casing Reddit, you know, conspiracy theories. But yeah, I really would like to know, do you play on controller? Do you play on mouse and keyboard? Do you play on PC and use a controller? That kind of stuff. Like, give me your opinions. Did you used to play on a mouse and keyboard when the game came out and then you were just like, no, F this, I'm gonna use a controller because it's just better? I'm very interested to see. Keep the comments respectable. I do read all the comments, even if they're mean, but please try to be nice. But that's gonna do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. It helps me in the YouTube algorithm. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you all around the ring. Peace.